typical, I hit this bumper. Ready? One, two, three. This is the Ink Pulp Podcast. Yo. Oh my gosh, we're doing Hello. this again. We are doing this again, this time on home turf, and thankfully, uh, we survived our Italy trip, and we survived the live version of this podcast when we reached each other's <laughs> company, even after that, the awful way that Matteo kind of ended the previous episode. This is well, episode, that, that episode one. <laughs> this is 136. That episode will come out later, because I have to find someone that can edit that all those files together. Are we so oh yeah 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 okay if you don't find anybody uh i can help you find someone all right i might need to i mean i have one guy trying out but it seems to be taking him i can ask my my dad if you want your dad yep he does video editing yeah it's always done it oh i didn't know that are you messing with us right now yeah i'm just like he's totally <laughs> fucking yeah, <I> mean, <laughs> 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 yeah, he's something to you. He's something to you, of course. You can't video added. I know. That's he's a YouTube that would have been Nothing, would, that would have been freaking awesome. You know what I mean? Okay, listen, I I I uh I don't know about you guys, but I'm I'm still exhausted from the trip. I know that when we all walked into the green room, when we all walked into backstage before I hit the live button, our energy was at like three, four. And as soon as I hit the recording thing and the bumper came up. And we came out of it. You guys were like on, like this was, we're about to freaking do a live concert. I don't know how you guys do it. Tell, uh, tell me, tell I don't me know what man. energy. It's called cocaine. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to get this thing demonetized. I don't know. So it's fast. everything I have right now. It's all I got in me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You're not going to have much left. No. All right, the I reason mean, why we're all so uh, freaking tired. Recovered uh, sleep. No, dude. Guys. No. I was no. up at, uh, today. I got to sleep until four. <laughs> <That's not laughs> like I was just like up, like what the fuck? <laughs> what time right, do you, so you start getting sleepy? Oh, night? yesterday I, it was like at three o'clock in the afternoon. I was like, oh like, shit, nodding off. Yeah. Oh, you have yeah, you have to resist those. Well, moments. I did. I didn't go to sleep, and I went to the gym and I worked out. I went to sleep okay. at my normal times, but yeah, I just came home to a shit show too. So we'll talk about that. Like, We'll talk about that later. But here's the thing. How is the, you know, to give people context, where, I mean, I'm sure they can pick up on it, but to give people context on where we were and why so we're so freaking exhausted, we are f four days removed from coming home from Lake Como, right? Uh, I don't want to miss this opportunity to thank Matteo. Yes, thank the grander, you, my brother. The grander country that is uh, Italy. But most specifically, thank you, Matteo, for taking care of us. Man, that was freaking awesome. I, I, uh, you set us off on the right path. You, your visiting Parma was the starting gun to this whole sort of marathon. And yeah. uh, dude, you, you, you took great, great care of us. So, uh, if you guys can, if you guys can make Matteo your friend, he will freaking take care of you. But uh, I think he's running out of friend spots. So you better, <laughs> you'd better get on his yeah, waiting list left. very quickly. Two left. He's going to kick one of us off very soon. So that'll be three left. Uh, but yeah, yeah no, we, we considered we... you in that group, by the way. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Me, pers me specifically. Brian. You, yeah, you and Sean. Yeah, I was just playing with Jim and Brian, and I was taking care yeah. of them. And of course, you were just at the Shea. I don't know what to say. You know, so. Yeah, yeah. We're, 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 we were um, really, really bad entourage for Brian and, uh, and Jim. <laughs> Speaking of Brian and Jim, uh, uh, Matteo is talking about Brian Stelfries, who is the our our in this trip one of our elder statesmen, right behind Cully Hamner and Dave Johnson. Yep. And uh, Jim is talking about our very good friend, uh, the international artist superstar himself, Jim Mafood, who has joined us here on a few episodes friend previous. Of the but podcast, yeah, he is. He is. As a matter of fact. You know, he was Sean's enabler the entire weekend. My enabler? <laughs> what yeah, did he yeah, yeah. enable me to do? Here's the thing. Like, Sean would have a kooky idea, you know, would be like, like for example, Jim, you got to try this half a cow for dinner, you know, <laughs> because it's on the menu. It says half a cow, you know. <laughs> and Jim would be like, oh, uh, all right. He would just say, all right, you know, and sometimes he would one up you like half a cow. Why don't we have a whole cow? 
I felt like that was your guys' relationship the entire time that we were there. You're not wrong. You're, you're not wrong. Uh, jokes aside, I think uh, you guys had a great spot, right? Yeah. And uh, that must have been such an amazing experience for you. We opted to stay in a more conventional hotel, but you guys got an Airbnb. Talk about that real quick, Sean. So we had uh, an entire villa, an entire house, a large house. It was a five-bedroom house. Um, to ourselves, to me, Jim, and Dave, Dave Johnson. Um, this was and Eli, I think Aaliyah joined Al you. Aaliyah for joined us nights, for the maybe. last two nights. Yeah, yeah. yeah. For uh, yeah. Friday night and Saturday night, Aaliyah joined us. Um, but this was a, a very old house um, full of art and murals on the walls and marble sculptures and fountains. And we had a whole backyard with a, a walkway with an archway over it with grapevines all over it it was um pretty surreal I and mean, the yeah. floors were marble like it was awesome let's uh wait before i forget can we can we, we we did it previously i think before the episode before we left to go to italy can we can we shout out and give thanks to the accommodations that you put us in uh mateo in uh in parma what oh yeah, the yeah the hotel what's the name of the vendor uh, well, there's a place that I uh, every time I have guests, uh, I always put them there. There, yeah. um, there is there. I think I spoke about them recently. You did. But you did. You did. Let's say it again, uh, though, because okay. that was great. That place uh, okay, is okay. Awesome. awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's called Palazzo Gozzi. Yeah, it's, uh, it's a hair salon, and you know they have like five rooms. Plus, they have another two or three apartments in Parma, not close to. Where right, where. right. Yeah. yeah, and now they have uh, uh, like a mansion outside Parma. Yeah, that can you know can take like I think ten people with a pool yeah. and everything. It's amazing. They're almost wow. Finished, you know, that's awesome. That's working, awesome. this is so a that's gonna be another option for the future. That's uh, that this place was a be um a boutique hotel, and you told me something yeah. interesting about what classifies as a boutique hotel, right? They have to have like one yeah. piece of... Yeah, basically uh, every every piece of furniture that you find in the, in the rooms has to be a uh, one of a kind. Yeah, so, there it is. And be there anything, you know, dining series. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. No, those first two days were amazing. It was, what a great way to get our... Um, uh, our show off, our week, our entire week and a half, two weeks off to start... I can't. Uh, I still have not recovered from that dinner that you set us up in. Well, that was the <laughs> last day that, that we were in that one. place. Holy mackerel! Too much food. Oh, Amazing geez. company. I felt like because of the way the table was was set up, it was like a, a horseshoe, right? That led yeah. you, know, you know opened up into a place. I felt like we were the mob. I felt like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like there's a bunch of artists, gangsters in that place and somebody was going to come in and ask to be part of the group and then he was going to get shot in the back of the head. That place was, <laughs> that place I mean, was we secret did, it was, too. We were, it was we were in the cellar. Dinner. Yeah, we were in the basement. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And, and, and if in case one of the waiters was rude with one of us, we would just start shooting in his food. Like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, because that's what we like, do typically. We do that. Yeah, we like do that in the <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I don't want to forget. Yeah. You you have. Um, oh, you sorry, have sorry to interrupt. Thing. But one go, thing go. in that restaurant it was yeah. it's called Cocky. I yeah. finally was able to film Sean in one of his moments. The you got oh, it? You gotta do that. <clears throat> I thought you failed. I it was you failed. no, no, no. He got it. It wasn't it. like uh, like a ten <laughs> in level of a, uh, in terms of excitement. Intensity. Yeah, it was. Yeah, it was like I would say a six seven. So there's been yeah. other moments, but I wasn't able to to film. Yeah, that. I think the last dinner we had. Yo, the was, last was one. Like it was like mm, 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 mm. it was just full soundtrack during, yeah, the, yeah. during the dinner. Mateo's but, gonna but make I a mixtape. You know, Parma, I have it. Like, if we did, we find a way to put audio when we reproduce a video here on the podcast. Oh, I'm sure we would be able to. Because I don't know the, what buttons to press. Last time we tried, but there was with a with a Martin oh. Lars uh, podcast with. Travis Chavez, right, right, and right, we yeah. didn't have audio because if we could, I could send it right away. 
No, send it. it. Let him upload it to the free. Right. Let's set it up so that we can upload it onto the. Uh, we can upload it to the YouTube channel, and people can watch the ten seconds of orgasm. Yeah, I can. I can make a a short out of it, and use it as a as like an ad for the podcast. Okay. Okay. Let me check. Finally met. Uh, finally met Mateo's. Uh, Mateo's boy. Yeah. Handsome, good-looking kid. Very well behaved, very social. Adorable. Wanted to interact yeah. with everybody. Well, well behaved, I wouldn't say so, but ah, it was great. I've seen <laughs> worse, buddy. Very good, yeah. yeah no, no, he's, he's great. Worse. He's great. It's just uh, he start, you know, before it was a little until I would say a month ago, it was a little shyer with, yeah. with people it doesn't know. Yeah, and I always understood that it can be a buffoon. So he's yeah. going to, you know, make a show every time. Where, where did he get that idea, Matteo? <laughs> that's that's Orb. Speaking, here's one more thing I don't want to lapse over. When Matteo invited us over to his house, Sean had this ridiculously funny like reaction to it. You know, we were dry. This place is gorgeous just on the drive up. You know, it felt it felt like a movie driving up to it. But I remember somebody going like Hey Mateo, is that your house? And he's like, No, I live over here. And we did a turn like that. People got disappointed at the idea until <laughs> until we went into Mateo's studio's place. If you're if you haven't seen it, you can catch glimpses of it. Go to Jim Mafood social media between like his Instagram or his Twitter. Jim, I think you did you did too. Like right, Sean, you took video. Of it yeah, there? and I'll make a short a YouTube short of that as well. Do it while you're at it. Put Mateo's address so people can. Oh show yeah, yeah, of course, sure. Sure. My my <laughs> cell phone number, everything. His, his bank account number, <laughs> his tax return ID, and then uh, we shot an shot an episode there. And man, was that so much fun! That was a lot. That of fun. was a ton of fun. That was a lot of fun. To yeah, do that, that came time. out great. It's uh, in person. It's uh, it's a whole different thing, man. Totally yeah. is. It really but is. Also, it, the energy, well, if you the remember, energy was good though. The energy was really, yeah, really yeah. It good was a great energy right. because it, we were actually, you know, seeing each other in person. Right. And when I first started doing the podcast, when there was no video and it was audio only, I made I would only do it in person for that very reason. Mm -hmm. I, yeah. I think it's a whole other level of of yeah. shit. But I think well, we're doing great with video now. Like the three of us, there's yeah. stuff magic here. Yeah, that's yeah. Uh, that's why you know when we'll start in a few months, when we'll start making real millions out of the right. po this podcast. Yeah, I think you guys should fly over here for every once a week episode. Yeah, once a week. Well, we're, we're gonna rack up. Well, we're gonna right, rack up those months. Really we'll come out once a month and we'll film for a whole day. And we'll okay, we banked them. Okay, we yeah, we record we like 10, 15. Yeah. And yeah. then uh yeah. yeah. Of course. I like I like this fantasy. All right, so we, we record there, right? Mateo, we spend a few more days or a few more hours, maybe another day in Parma after that. Yeah. And then off we went to uh off we went to Lake Como. Uh -huh. Now I haven't never having been there myself and 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 neither had Sean. I remember between sh I had the pleasure of riding in the van with these guys, right? And it's and it's like seeing kids approach Disneyland. Everything was interesting to them. It, well, it was. Right? <laughs> like they've never seen a palm tree before. Like they've never seen a road sign before. Everything was just interesting. Oh my God! Look at that road sign. Look at that tree. Wait, wait, wait. You know? don't forget about the stop we made on the drive up. Yeah, no, that was great. That was uh, there was a bit of a, a bio break. We stopped at a gas station, and everybody got a bunch of snacks and what have you. And and Sean, uh, Sean yeah. discovered. Oh shit! The oh, Fratello yeah. espresso I cup. <laughs> yeah, I have it here in my studio. <laughs> I got Jim one, and I got Mateo one. <laughs> he got so excited. He, well, he was running up, is... up and he was running up and down the aisles of the stop, <laughs> high fiving people that he didn't know. <laughs> well, the story is I was just looking at these espresso cups with pe with names on it. Like maybe I'd get one for the family, but they're all Italian names. So I was like, oh, fuck. So I, I turn around <laughs> and I was like, Those Sean, Italian you missed names. one. <laughs> yeah, it's, I mean, like, you know, Zoe's not going to be there. But um, I turn around to leave and Mo's like, Sean, you missed one. And she turns the spinner rack around and there's one espresso cup that says Fratello on it. So I was like freaking out. I was like, oh my God, I have to get it. I have to get it. And then I'm looking for more. There's no more. 
So I'm like, all right, at least I'll get the one. I get the one. I leave. I'm now outside the gas, the, 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 um, the, the mini Mart thing. And, and Mo comes running out, Sean, 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 I found more. So I go back in and get two more. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and I was very excited, Eric. I sure yeah. you remember that. Great gift. I do. I do remember it. I do because you were so excited to show it I to me. I was so excited. I mean, my Italian friends would consider it to be really stupid and bad gift because it's uh, you know, it's like a souvenir. Uh, well, but, right. You know, it it has a different meaning for us. So. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. I mean, it's it's so, like a, it's a highway, you know, rest stop gift. It's a souvenir. But yeah. yeah. So in we go to Como, having <laughs> never been in that city before. It's freaking gorgeous. And I don't know how you did it, Sean, but you somehow managed to temper a lot of your energy. It like it built up during the week, you know, but man, that's such a beautiful city. What an amazing oh, experience insane. that was. Well, I, I thought a lot about how I acted the last trip mm -hmm. <laughs> and I didn't <laughs> want to annoy or drive Listen, crazy. Let me let me be clear about this. OK. You're you're not annoying, right? I don't know where you got it in your head where it was annoying. Uh, well, at least not me. You're annoying the Mateo fuck out of the table. Oh, it, it became annoying to me after right. you know after right. six or seven days of managing everyone. Right. So I just it I was to, you know I wanted to tamp it down a little. But bit. we're I'm just talking about your overall reaction to things. I thought like that's not annoying. That's just like that's getting angry for a scorpion like stinging things you know what i mean like it's sure. it's what it's what the scorpion does you know so you getting excited you getting ramped up and everything it's it's charming so uh, it doesn't come off as annoying to me but i didn't have to stay with you you had to stay with jim you had to stay with that dave you were not hey. my problem for the better part of this better part <laughs> hey, of Eric, sorry for interrupting but there's a thing that it keeps distracting me you have uh, yeah. something right behind your head which is i don't know if it's a black jacket or something and yeah. it make it looks like you have hair, but only. <laughs> oh, that's fucking awesome! <laughs> you look like. One right, of let, me, those. let me move it. Let me move it. Let me, got let, a me move it. <laughs> let me move it. <laughs> the mullet, the Kennedy mullet. <laughs> yeah, like <laughs> so fucking ugly. That would be awesome if he just grew his hair like that. All right, here we go. No, that's just, that better. Just, it's yeah, on this side red, now. Just breath right. now. <laughs> Another a red sweater. <laughs> Uh, where was I? <laughs> Fucking lost my place. All right, so in we go. In we go to Como, right? Um, and because we have time between Como and the the Lake Como Comic Art Festival, we had a ton of time. We were easily a week, I would say. We took it took us. We we had a week before the show uh, started. Did, uh, half yeah. of Saturday, then Sunday, Monday. Uh, what's Tuesday, uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Wednesday Thursday, 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 and then on Friday. With Friday night, the party started. So yeah, six and a half day, I would say. That's awesome. That that was such a great runway to go into that show because it allowed us to go and explore the city. Yeah, Como is beautiful. All you know, the uh, little towns on that water. Yep, taking, and I taking that ferry every day to a different part of. of I was going to say, was if amazing. if not for that ferry, it I forgot how walkable Italy is. Yeah. You know, like mm -hmm. you can spend 20 minutes, maybe 30 minutes. And that feels like a long time until you realize so much to look at mm -hmm. during those walks. You know, there's True. so much yeah. to experience, you know. So Como was beautiful. We had we had as a collective, we all go into Como. And uh, you missed this, Mateo. So and but you've heard the story. So bear with me. We go into Como. We walk around. Actually, for a some bit. of the some of the people from the group are still here in Italy. Yeah. Oh, is that right? Uh, yeah, 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 Cully. Yeah, Brian uh, with and Cully. Lisa, his girlfriend. They're uh, in Venice, I think, now. That's right. And then they're right. going mm -hmm. to Amalfi. I, okay. And I think Brian still still freeze. Yeah. And his Steen. wife, Steen, are in near Lake Garda now. Which yeah, is they, got, oh. they got a quiet house in, in the uh, in a countryside. Yep. It's, it's fascinating because between the both of those guys, they were all they were both like, "Oh man, we just go places and we work." And I'm like. You have you flew halfway around the world so you can work in Italy. I'm hoping they're actually vacationing. Yeah. I hope. I'm I think hoping now, that, well, Brian is, and Steen are just going to be painting landscapes. Yeah, where they're staying. Yeah. Oh, nice. Uh, nice. I think but that Colleen on vacation now. Yeah, Cully and Elisa are doing the full like vacation, vacation. Yeah. And I saw yeah, Ryan yeah. Otley's in Venice right now, and Terry Dodson's uh -huh. still over there. Yeah, there's a good amount of people still over oh, good. there. Good. Yeah. Okay, so in we go to Como. 
we find a place to sit down for lunch, right? Great lunch, great food. I don't know if we, I mean, you guys, you guys said one dinner was a little bit, eh, but otherwise everything else was really, really super good. So we sit down and this American guy is sitting, just having drinks across the way from where we're sitting and he hears us talking (laughs) and he goes, Hey, how are you guys doing? They open up this conversation, right? And then I think at the end of, by the end of it, you like, what do you guys do? Oh, we're here for this show, this comic book convention that's coming up, you know, this original art convention that's coming up a few days from now, blah, blah, blah. And this guy's like, oh, dude, my kid is a huge Batman and Spider-Man fan. And between me, Jim, and everybody else at the table, we all look at Sean. We're like, you know who draws a really amazing Batman and (laughs) Spider-Man? This guy right here (laughs) created Marvel Comics. You know, like we we just did it to that level. This guy came up with the idea for comics, you know? Um, And so this guy's like, really, can I? Stan Lee. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Sean, Sean Stan Lee. Crystal, you know? <laughs> so so he like if you if you you know the guy offers asks sean to draw him something for his kid he doesn't happen to have a uh, a uh, pen and paper or whatever so the waitress overhears that and she she volunteers a pen and paper right i think it was a receipt sean cranks out one of his batman and uh gives it to the guy the guy's extremely grateful and they, they you know they, he parts ways and our waitress charming as she was she goes looks directly at sean and goes who are you like in that really like who are you and man it took all of my control to bite my tongue to be like you don't know who he is did you just not see what he did for that guy but in all fairness it didn't need that because as soon as people figured out that sean could draw oh my gosh they all like they all like like wasps you know, to a nest. So the girl comes back out and she says, hey, can you draw something for me? And that just started the chain reaction to the point where people were just like looking over at this very important man who created Spider-Man and Batman. <laughs> the owner of the restaurant, so overwhelmed by the presence of a uh, of a Jewish saint. He was so overwhelmed by his attendance to his restaurant. The fact that this this guy has made contact with the ground where his restaurant was based, he comes out with a guest book that I think goes back five thousand years. You know, to it's the, old. To, it goes back a long way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I think I saw a, like I saw a signature by Adam, Eve, and the fucking snake <laughs> in this book. Snake, like... Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was like a snake body. Just they still had the uh, you know the stamps. Like <laughs> <laughs> so he asked us to draw in it and i gotta be honest with you it, it it was so on brand of me to be this level of asshole you know so sean opens up with drawing batman as you know as he like he, he's, he's doing this amazing batman and we, with limited tools he cranks out this great batman jim do, jim jim mafu does what jim mafu does which is like Jim can vomit and it'll be of like a piece of art in that style of his. I'm not saying his yeah. art is vomit, but just like he's just got like stream of consciousness way yes. of drawing. Yeah, he can just and go. he does he does Wonder Woman. So if you do the math, you get Batman, Wonder Woman, and as Jim hands it to me, it's almost built into the fucking contract. <laughs> You're gonna draw Superman, right? <laughs> Batman, Wonder Woman. <laughs> and I was like, fuck you, I'm drawing Harley Quinn. And I don't even draw it. You should have drawn Hulk. Yeah, I should have like, drawn not even related not, in terms not of even in the fucking I should have drawn like Totoro. You know what I mean? I should have just drawn <laughs> nothing related to that at all. It is to say that the people who from the of the people who were there, there was a couple that was very generous with their time. They they really they appreciated us being there. And then they go, like, hey, why don't you guys come back? couple days later and have this this drink and draw event so we went back and we had you know a bunch of the guys that were hanging out with us from essential sequential we all you know spent the afternoon there just kind of just kicking back eating food and and uh, and drawing for them that was a lot of fun and that was of the many things that we did that was that was early so there was so much more that we did at that show so wait but the drink and draw was that already planned in that no. place Mm-mm. oh no, they-, they just cut Oh, okay, it, it that's was, when it was decided. Okay, we're gonna do a drink. Yeah, and draw so in this there's place. a little more, a little more to the story here. Mm-hmm. Mr. Jim Mafood, being the international sensation that he is, I was sidestepping this on purpose, but I'm glad you're doing it because you guys are close. <laughs> so, <laughs> this waitress who was very attractive, uh, Italian waitress from 
uh, from Italy. Well, she's from Italy, but she she was Asian, Asian features. Uh, um, okay. So she has a little mm. sparkle in her eye for Mr. Jim. Hold on, hold on. I come to find out that that young lady is Filipino. Oh, oh shit! Oh, oh shit! Okay. Filipino by way of like by way of Spain and then Italy. So when she was talking to me, like, oh, like I can I can understand to all. Come on. So Are you probably your two are related, probably. <laughs> Every <laughs> Filipino is man. <laughs> Mateo, I told you she was attractive. They're not related. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, she has a little twinkle in her eye for Jimmy boy. <laughs> Just cut the story. <laughs> so now it's a matter of, well, we need a reason to come back. <laughs> and, okay. And, uh, and so we I think it was Jason was like, we'll do a drink and draw. And I was like, all right. So that's how that, that's how that sort of that seed was planted. Awesome. Awesome. Now I get the whole story. <laughs> what do we do next, Sean? Afterwards, what, do we, what, what was the couple of days that we did? We went up to so Bellagio. The first day was Lake Como. I mean, yeah. the town of Como. And then the next day was Bellagio. Yeah. Which was a real fairy tale of a place. That place was pretty wild. Yeah, it was, it felt, as soon as we landed, as soon as the ferry pulled into the dock and we started walking around, it felt almost fake because those are the places that they simulate in, like, Las Vegas, you know, right, not right. in real life. Right. The moment we got off of there, everything was a climb up for us to There's find. There's actually an, uh, an a hotel in Vegas called yeah, the Bellagio. 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 Yeah. 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 Yeah, but it doesn't capture what the charm and obviously the history of this place as it does. It, uh, no, it captures it the patina of it, but... It's so it was a beautiful another beautiful city in which we had lunch. But I, I want to take the opportunity to thank uh, Mo and Jason Schachter, who had yeah. been there previous. Um, and they were effectively our tour guides because they knew what ferries to take, the yeah, timing, yeah, yeah. that whole bit. OK, no, let me take that back. I want to thank Mo. Mo. Jason <laughs> was a... That's that's what I was waiting for. Because I was like, Jason. <laughs> no, 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 no. I want to thank Mo. Jason was just a lump of chocolate chip cookie dough. He was just not <laughs> contributing to anything. As a matter of fact, it took Mo to sort of like um, make decisions because Jason just would be like, um, uh, uh, and Mo's like, oh, my God, which I'll just make the call. I'll just pull the trigger. God bless that woman for not just showing us, uh, showing us around, but also staying with Jason because otherwise he'd be in the middle of the fucking lake in Lake Como. So <laughs> thanks, dope. Mo. If you're watching, if you're watching thank this you, episode, should you happen to hear about it? Thank thanks, you so Mo. much for being and that ferry being ride so cool. was a two hour ride there and a two hour ride back. But uh, yeah. that ferry is just so such a luxury to have. I gotta be honest with you. The, this on the way back, if it, if we weren't dealing with time, right, as much, and I, I know I knew we weren't really trying to come back for anything, but I knew like uh, we probably wouldn't be able to spend too much time in these places. But right. every time that it stopped, I wish we had gotten off and just checked out the area a little bit. Yeah, maybe yeah. for forty five minutes, yeah. and then come back and get back on the boat again, and then yeah. go to the next stop and so on. But um, really, really beautiful place. Um, as an aside. I was joking around with my wife to be like, I wonder what a house would cost <laughs> to, buy, to get something near like totally like, just like, you know, obviously just fantasizing and, and, and just daydreaming a little bit. And I looked it up and there's some places in there that is abnormally like affordable, you know, relative, you know, because if you see some of these properties that are directly on the lake, that's probably like a small fortune. Yeah. That's a lifetime's worth of yeah. money. But if you yeah. go just a little bit inward inland, yeah, you still get the experience of living in that town, minus yeah. you know being able to drive a boat right up to your living room, right? Right. right. But just as beautiful, really super yeah. affordable. Anyway, it is to the it is to say that if you if you are interested in buying a piece of property, uh, that's near a lake, uh, go to Lake Como. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Called, we'll, uh, real estate. <laughs> yeah. Hey, maybe well, that's, a f that's what I need. A real estate. So a business. few days of that, and then what did we? And then we ended up in uh, we so ended up in Lake Como. In. Oh, oh I forgot. Went to Lugano. Um, wait, what did you think of Lugano, Eric? Switzerland. I thought it was Italy, but with different currency. <laughs> yeah, it's exactly what it felt like to me. It felt like we were in Italy still. 
Yeah, we didn't um, we didn't go too I, deeply. Am I right that most of the language I heard was Italian? Italian. Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. they can speak Italian too. And and in general, all that area in Italy that that the parts that are closer to other countries, you can see there's not a lot of difference. Like we mm -hmm. have in another region, we have Bolzano, which is one of the northern cities in Italy. Uh -huh, they're yeah. really close to Germany and they're basically German. Like Okay. Even the look, like mm. you know, right, right, of people, and they they speak German, and and, and in general, it, it looks like a almost a German town. So, are you saying are you saying the that. Italians are speaking German in, in that like there's Italian yeah. guys living in a German town speaking yeah. Italian? Yeah, the in main language. language is German in there. Fascinating, and they wow. a lot of last names are German, and they mm. speak like normally if you get. Unless they recognize immediately that you're like you speak Italian, you more mm -hmm. like look like me, yeah. you don't look German. Yeah. They might, you know, be speaking to you in Italian with a German accent. Right. Oh, wow. But otherwise, like normally, if they're not paying attention, they'll start talking to you in German. Oh, yeah. shit. Yeah. Um, By the way, let's not diminish the lunch, the lunch I had did not feel Italian. Uh, it, it didn't. didn't. No. Well, the, no, the, cod like in the, the cod in the risotto was very, I actually had it when we, when we went back. I wanted to. I, I don't want to diminish that experience. Like beautiful, beautiful city, gorgeous yeah, yeah, city yeah, that yeah, we yeah, went yeah. up there. It's pretty. It's very pretty. Um, I'll say this, and I, <laughs> I lost track of this until I was thinking about the entire trip in whole when we were when we were flying home. We were joined by uh, our dealer, Supreme, you know, Albert Moy, and his family. Yeah. Hmm. And Albert had just torn his ACL or something like that. Uh, in Italy or, or no in, in months space. previous he was actually rehabbing oh, okay. it he had yeah. surgery he had, already yeah and he had something going on with his hip or his back right so after the shopping after the hanging out after the after all the you know after all the eating or whatever we we tried to go back to the train station it was time to go home and nobody was sure exactly how to get back there so I hit the little map button and his wife Jamie, you know, what do you call it? Charming, charming lady who, who was very sort of like motherly and, and took care of us. She had just, we were eating, what were we doing? We were having, we were taking a break. We we're having a, a cup of coffee. Yeah. And she comes turning the corner. She's out of breath. She's like, oh my gosh, you know, me and my daughter just went up these set of stairs that's down the way. And we just came back and they were really kind of excited about it. They did it in the amount of time that they did. You just muted your mic, Eric. Oh, uh, you muted your mic. Your mic is we were, big. Yeah, so we were in, we were interested. Like it was interesting to have them. Like we turned the idiot. corner, and <laughs> and uh, I look on the map. And in order for us to get back to the train station, we had to go up these steps. It was a lot. It was a lot. It was a lot. It was a lot. It was a big deal for that town. Apparently, that's a feature. That's like a, this this place that people go to. You know, it's a tourist stop. And uh, Albert, having just messed up his like he was actually kind of walking funny during the whole entire thing, but. He had to go up these stairs because it was the way to get to that. And I said, hey, we can stop. You can take a cab. You can take a ride to get there. He's like, no, I got it. And to his credit, dude, he made it all the way to the top. I think he was feeling it every day thereafter. Even at the show, he was, you know, he was asking, you know, I think it was Jason. He was asking for some kind of painkillers or whatever it was. Painkillers you know. and stuff. But man, what a, what a great time there. Came home, convention started. Or came back to the hotel, convention started. That's, That's right. You went up, you. That's right. What's our next show? New York. I think it's New York. That's in. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's definitely. But Eric, you're not going to New York. You're no. going. Mm -mm. Fuck you. Yeah. I know. <laughs> I know. The thing that we missed out on was shooting a uh, an episode in Lake Como because we, uh, as soon as the show started, we had stuff to do. Yeah, it you was know, like it, it, everybody it was had time. everybody had things to do. Somebody else talk about the. Uh, the freaking venue in the castle. Well, the, Sean, the opening, you do yeah, the, the opening party, like that, that was the craziest thing I think of the whole trip, that party, because it was in a, <clears throat> an old house called Villa Urba, <clears throat> which felt more like a castle than a house. And it was right on the water. So the back of the house was right on the water. Um, and it was this beautiful historic i mean mateo you probably know more about it than i do uh, oh yeah mateo, yeah. mateo uh, owns it mateo, it's historic. Uh, yeah yeah i'm Villa about Square. to buy it i'm about to buy it I'm <laughs> Villa <saying Square>. no. <laughs> once it's i one sell of, another one of two, his, uh you know we know it, once i sell another two three pages of mr freeze I, i'm good 
and gets fired. But so we it's walk of, in, uh, and, it's, and it's, it's one of uh, Mateo's smaller properties. You know what yeah, I mean? like, so I was, you know, house. Yeah. It's a summer house. But you walk in, and it feels like a black tie affair. There's um, like waiters walking around with finger foods and uh, glasses of prosecco, and it was the just like the height of class and um it just for a comic event was so foreign to what we're normally dealing with it mm. felt incredible and the food the dinner was amazing the uh, open bar every uh, like you could walk all around the house we went out on a balcony actually, and had cigars actually we were just the uh, we just had bad luck with the with the weather otherwise the whole thing would have been in the back of the villa just by the lake oh really yeah, last year it was, you know, by the, you know, the, the stairs and everything. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I know what you're talking about. Yeah. Well, it was hey, Can I ask you guys, does it, was it, Sean, you just said something right now. I want to follow up on it. You said it's like for a comic book show. Did it, was did it, was it a comic book show in your opinion? It was a comic art show, not a comic book show. Maddie, That's, what do you think? Yeah, it's a, it's a, well, it's still about, you know, comic book artists. So in general, I would define it, uh, you know, uh, a comic book show because it's comic book related, but it has a totally different, you know, the intention behind it and everything is totally different because it's yeah. more like an excuse exclusive show for collectors with the purpose of, you know, uh, unifying collect collectors and artists basically. Yeah. So what do you think of that no show? Yeah. No, no cosplaying allowed. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No retail. Wait, it's not allowed. There's there a small booth where they would sell, you know, Manara books, some right. of the main guys' books, right? Like Alex Ross collections mm -hmm. and stuff. But other than that, it was just artists or some art dealers. So it's mm -hmm. still, you know, original, original art that he could scroll I, to. I so, thought, and you guys tell me if this sounds right. I thought it happened. To, it, it was an art show. It was an like an original art show that happens to like center around comics, but it could have been anything. It could have been like an art show where that was more like, I, I don't know, like, you know, abstract painting, but it happens to be that, mm -hmm. you, you know what I mean? Like I, yeah. it, it wasn't, yeah. it didn't come off like a comic book show to me. Yeah. Maybe yeah. because of I, the I mean, baggage I that I you're saying, yeah. Go ahead, Sean. No, I, I mean, it's, that's what I was saying earlier. It, it felt like nothing we've ever experienced. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. And, but it also it, it after, you know, a lot of American shows, I think a lot of us are left feeling like um, in, in the view, in the eyes of the the con organizers, we're, we're not important. Like mm. we, we mm. like we're we're after the fact it's come yeah. celebrate the movies, the actors and and all the pop culture stuff. And we're like an afterthought. This yeah. was the focus was on the art. And yeah. so that that alone was was nice and different. Yeah, yeah. It was to me when I when I was experiencing the whole thing, I thought like, oh, here's a venue that is wholly dedicated to celebrating and potentially turning into commerce. Obviously, right? Like the entire concept of like you are an artist, you just happen to be drawing comic books. Yeah, it doesn't diminish your craft. You're just doing something else, you know. In as much as sure. somebody who paints giant murals, in as much as somebody who like designs fashion, and now there's a runway with people wearing your clothes. This one was like, hey, we're going to celebrate the fact that we love this medium, we love comics, and you guys are the ones who are making it, right? Yeah, yeah. And it was an international sort of celebration because I was Absolutely. joking with Matteo offline, where it's like, oh, the the pavilions, the different rooms centered around yeah. like oh here's the the representation from my comic books from the united states and right. here's some from spain and here's right. some from you know here are the legendary guys that have been doing this since forever and it was really and, a great cross yeah. section of like yeah. a lot of different things what do you think man yeah no no it was uh, i was just uh you know following what you were saying uh, yeah we said the big names i mean manara liberatore uh yeah. serpieri was there so yeah like you had really, really, really big names. Yeah, sure. there was <laughs> at the party. Um, there was a moment where um, Liberatore started drawing on a tablecloth, like big, and Manara 
followed up after him. And Jim and I just happened to be right next to them when this all started. So I look at Jim. He's like, we got to get a picture. So I just say, all right, just come around, come around behind me real quick. So Jim comes around behind me and I tap <laughs> liberatory on the shoulder and, and I show him my phone for a picture and he just smiles a huge smile. I go, what about Milo? So he's tapping Milo Mara. And Milo's looking past me, like, what am I supposed to be looking at? And Libertori's like pointing at my phone right here. And so then he finally looks and I just grab the shot immediately. And they're smiling so big as if we're all old friends. So the point <laughs> where I got DMs from like Andy Belanger, who was like, dude, you got to hang out with those motherfuckers. I'm like, no, I just took a quick picture. Well, technically you did. We you were in the same freaking, yeah, what yeah. do you call it? That was great. For the, for the next mean, episode, we should gather all the pictures from, from the trip. That's a good idea. And just, and, you know, yeah. and, yeah. We should maybe we should get Jim on too to talk about it too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can do that. Why yeah. while we're at it, why don't you call your friend Libertori and fucking Milo Minari <laughs> and get them on the episode? <laughs> Imagine that. Just uh to describe their but it was a crazy yeah. night. I mean, we went from can that. You imagine like, what they would say. I didn't know who those kids were. They just <laughs> was like, we were to be <laughs> and then yes, <laughs> dwarfs with in line at the dinner buffet <laughs> in front of Jim and I is Kevin Eastman, behind Jim and I is Simon Bisley. So we had these awesome conversations with both those guys. Like that made this show just so unique. You're just surrounded by legends. Yeah. And they were treated yeah. as such, which I, which was really nice to see. Cause you know, you go to like, like a, just another con here, we go with Klaus, who's a legend and he's just another face in the crowd. It seems he's treated mostly yeah. that way. So I think it's, it, it, it's coming from an, a level of appreciation from, uh, from comic book artists themselves, right? It's not, mm -hmm. it's not necessarily not exclusively anyway coming from a fan base. It's us yeah. looking at these guys going like, geez, Louise, that guy came up with Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and he's just sitting yeah. over there just being cool, you know? Like, yeah. Yeah. not to say that he wasn't cool if, if he wasn't there, but I mean, sure. like, oh yeah, he's, he's the most normal guy who's, who just likes talking comics. You know? And it was nice to see him, the like he was the busiest one in our room all yeah. weekend. And that yeah. was like, that gave me such like hope to see that like he does like he he did he create out of everyone in that room he created the thing like yeah it's pretty badass yeah. and he did it um, independently like it's awesome it was also you, weird like the of all the interactions that i had with attendees at the show like most of them were not in italian like i had a bunch of italians mm -hmm. but there mm -hmm. there was a lot of people from outside France. Late, Germany. Late. Yeah. There's actually people Singapore. from the states. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. There was. I mean, I'm. I got a commission. I got to do for a guy who lives in Alabama. <laughs> like, what yeah. is your yeah. <laughs> Why did yeah. you come out here for this? Yeah. I asked about that because the um going back real quick to the um to the the reception, the ceremony, the opening ceremony. Um. Oh, by the way, huge, huge thanks to Arno for putting this thing together. Huge. Oh yeah, yeah, absolutely. Huge. Oh my gosh. You know, um, I don't know the level of coordination that it takes to get that many artists into a place, secure the venue, get that many people, you know, it, get it organized where I'm like, this is pretty, this is pretty smooth running. And now, now, granted, you know, the, the attendees were, uh, you know, by way of, by comparison to other comic book shows, smaller, but that's by design. And that yeah. still takes yeah. coordination. So all due respect to him. Thank you for having us. Thank you for having me. You know, it'd be interesting to, to have Arno, if possible, on the show to talk about the, the creation of this, the intentions behind it, and, and all that. Yeah. Jazz. Yeah. yeah. That'd be nice. Yeah. yeah. Somebody, you reach, you, you know everybody, Sean. Between I don't know Arno. Yeah, you, and... you know Arno. All right. I, can, I, I, I think Milo. His, ask my uh, buddy Milo. <laughs> yeah. I think I have his uh, contact. If not, I can ask Jason. So yeah. yeah. That right. might, we can that see would if he's cool. interested. Yeah. yeah. That would be and, cool. Dude, thanks to him. So, um, you probably say, I don't care about this stupid uh, podcast. <laughs> but, what know. is that thing that you're doing? What is this <laughs> accent? It's a uh, it's, uh, Japanese accent. Oh, you nailed it. You nailed it. Because if it was French, that's shitty. But if it's Japanese, absolutely. <laughs> then it was uh, really shitty. Oh. Really shitty joke. You sound, really, you sound really like, in, accent, dude. Don't you sound like Inspector Crusoe from like the old school <laughs> Pink Panther movie? Well, which is like Crusoe is a you know it's a French last name. Yeah, it's so, French. I know, but know, he, he was being a cart. He was being a cartoon. You sound like. A cartoon. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> so, okay, oh, I'm sorry. I'm just trying to speak English, which is not my language, and giving a French accent. I'm sorry. It's a fair point, sorry, it's a fair point Mateo. It's a fair point. You can't keep, you can't keep backing him up. He's, <laughs> I, the, Mr. Mr. I'll, perfect. I'll give, perfect. I'll, give him, I'll give him credit for, like, trying, but oh, my God. Okay. <laughs> Fucking lost track of what I was going to say. Somebody else talk. Uh, shocked me i'm shook and i can't think of anything come on come on so, yeah, so, all right so we had farther what oh no another another thing okay okay no. as you as you as you're thinking uh another thing that is uh was really unusual where they talked about it but uh it's it's weird because uh normally at shows like for example u.s shows like they're way busier because you know the number of attendees is way you know higher but uh so you feel like the show is getting busy and because sometimes you have a lot of interactions yeah. but with people but most of the not most but you know often those interactions are just you know you just end up, end up talking with a fan or somebody who just wants you know you to sign either a book or just to tell you oh I love your stuff and that's it you know this and, this, and is, this is this is humble brag, Eric. But but uh, no no no. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, the, the the thing is that so you feel that the show at the end of the day might be you know really busy, but you know uh, and compared to Como, which you know the the more or less the rooms are really big, so. Most of the time, they're almost empty, especially ours, yeah. which is at the very end of the show. Mm -hmm. mm. But in the end, the, the business is really good. Like it goes, you know, it, it goes well, you know, you, yeah. you, but you don't have the same feeling because it, it looks like aesthetically. The, this, I, I want to say this. Uh, this like is all about bragging about how busy he was and how much yeah. money he made. Yeah. That's what this is about. Yeah, <laughs> I, I think I understand where he's coming from. Here's the part that I think one, you know, at the 10,000 foot view of the whole thing, what I really appreciate is the fact that there is a venue for artists looking at their work as a business, as opposed to, and it's really being focused on as a real business, as opposed to this thing that sometimes, not always, but sometimes when you're an artist ally, you're just kind of like, I hope somebody's paying attention to me because freaking. You know, Orlando Bloom is promoting his next movie in the next right, room. Exactly. This yeah. thing is being focused primarily on you as an artist. And we, by we, I mean like the people who were attendees there. We're fans of you guys. Maybe not everyone, but you're going to get, to your point, Mateo, we were at the back of the venue. You know, it's it's more length, long than, than large, right? Like yeah. your penis. So like, so we were near the back of your penis, you know, yeah. so... People had to walk the length of your cock near the balls, near the balls to get like the hairiest part of this whole thing. Like the we thing, had, had so hair. I think you do, you know. So, uh, uh, so okay, the back. We were in the back of the cock, so the the start, the root of the cock. The, you're saying the, the root of the cock, the base that's, of the. Oh, that's, that's where the hair that's, is. That's okay. your next sketchbook name, root the of the tip, cock. So, so it was like wait, cock hair on the tip. The fucking. No. No. Kind of weird cock you have. All right. Okay, so here's the thing: people, people still made time, yeah. right? And they were still great business because they knew the the that was the theme of the entire celebration was, hey, we're here to talk to these artists. We're here yeah. to talk to yeah, them. very true. As many as you know, some of them probably never made it back to where we were because that just wasn't their interest. But the but the entire sort of thing was built around. There's artists here. We appreciate their work. Come and support them in some capacity. You know. Yeah. Um, yeah, true. and that was great. I, I, I know, never experienced that before. I still have to see, like, I'm not entirely, you know, I don't know. I want to, I still need time to think about it, but because at the same time, I'm, I must say, you know, looking at, for example, an other Italian show, really popular. That's uh Luca comics. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's Luca comics and games. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That they make like a ton of attendees, like two hundred and fifty thousand something. Huge, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, that's huge. It's one of the biggest in the world. But you know, I have also to admit that it's probably tank to the you know the TV shows and the you know mm -hmm. the and the video games if mm -hmm. a lot of people are still attending. So oh, for sure. you know, in order, mm -hmm. if I was an organizer, like again, congrats to or no, because I don't think it's easy. 
you know, to make oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. everything yeah. work no. because it's yeah. not, you know, you don't have that thing. Like, you don't have the games and you don't have the, the, the TV shows to support the whole thing. Right. You know, it's people coming so. to see art and talk to artists and that's yeah. it. And, that's and, all that's there. I mean, it's inevitable. Uh, we got to be honest also about the fact that of all the three things, comic books are, you know, the one that, you know, brings less money in because we're, you know, the, sure. the smallest of the three businesses. Sure. So, right, right. Sure. It's, not, right. it's not easy. Yeah. No, you're right. You're absolutely right. Anyway, thanks to Arno. Thanks to the whole, you know, his crew Definitely. that were Definitely. effectively just invisible the entire time. They were there to help. Yeah. They would sh pop up when they need to. But rare was it that, you know, they stood out all that much. They were hel helping to facilitate everything, which made things yeah. super But easy. also at the end of the show, Arno took time to sit down at each of our tables individually. Oh, yeah, right. Yeah, us. I had uh, like a 10 minutes talk. Incredible. Yeah. Like just yeah. incredible. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. What was uh for, was there any takeaway? What was it? Was there any memorable stuff from that show from from each of you? Was the Sean? Let's start off with you. What was the thing that you were like, dude? This was that that's should that that those two days in specific. One of the things was just seeing original art, like some of these art dealers had. <laughs> I mean, just Serpieri's, Topies, Afino. Uh, I yeah. mean, just the the Mobius piece, like, like sure. just all of that was crazy. It yeah. was like a it was like a museum. Uh, like art dealers were like a museum. Like it, it wasn't just like so and so who drew Spider Man last week. Like this was like art history we were looking at. Yep. So that that was 100%. mind blowing. Uh, for me, um, leaving the show having traded art with a few people and coming home with some really cool pieces of art was, was the big highlight for me. Right on. Mateo, what about for you, man? Well, to me, still art, uh, related. I, I didn't even know that the making was going to be there. Elia yeah. pointed yeah. it out to me. So we went together, uh, on, on uh, Sunday morning and he went and checked all the stuff and I was, uh, able to, you know, to buy something so that's awesome if you want i can show you i actually yeah dude yeah, yeah. go go uh, i got my art right here i can show it too so one of the things i got was mr dave johnson gave me an original nice it's super sweet look at that like, super fan by the way can we the people that we were there can we call it we were hanging out with you guys said it a couple times uh thanks for hanging out mateo loli thanks for hanging out Aliyah bonetti thank you for hanging out um uh, uh, Brian Stelfreeze, thanks for hanging out. Dave Johnson, Colin, Colin Hamner, yeah, um, and on and on. You know, uh, who was with us? Uh, Jim, obviously, but that's that's yeah. more like in our crew. So, thanks everybody. Aaliyah, you know, I invited him to come on to this show. I said, dude, he goes, he compliments us when he's like, dude, I watched it. You guys are freaking hilarious. And I said, Aaliyah, just come on, you know, and hang out with us for like an hour. Yeah, I and love he's that. He's like, dude. dude, my my English is so awful, I wouldn't be able to hang. I'm <laughs> like, dude. I barely speak English, you know, <laughs> you um, you can come and hang out anyway. Go ahead. Go ahead. So I you got go. Javier Fernandez came over wanting to trade. So I was hype right. on right. that. Right. And then this, this might be my favorite piece. I got the whole weekend. Um, I, I, I traded this one to give to my wife, but this is from Aaliyah. Nice. Oh, it's awesome. gorgeous. And yeah. then I, I so remember I got, you stroking the nipple of that image the entire time. I, that we were was you stroking it, 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 imitating me stroking it because I didn't stroke it. That was, that was I think you, you did. And I then think you did. We should my, get Aaliyah for my son because he's into music. I got this from Aaliyah. Nice. Oh shit! Which is awesome. That's nice. Yeah, that's gorgeous. And then for my daughter, gorgeous. that's gorgeous. Huge Tank Girl fan, Mr. Mafood gave me. Oh one of tank nice. shit! So well done. I, I made that's out great. well. What, uh, Mateo, you had it on screen just for a second. What was yeah. it the thing? It was, uh, Dave McKean. Holy crap. Dude. Yeah. What was yeah. he, what was he like talking to? Was he cool? Was he nice? Oh, he's drawing. It's not a, he's a man of a few words. So <laughs> he didn't talk a lot. Unlike us. I, I managed to make a nice, I managed to make a nice, to make a nice joke. Uh, not super incredible joke, like a simple one, but with the right timing and everything. And he's like, uh, he, he, when I, it, it didn't have the signature on it, so he had to sign it. And as he was signing, I was like, oh, this is really, this is recent. I did it uh, two weeks ago. I was like, oh. And I could see that he was sorry to see it go already. 
I was like, okay, man, if you want, I can give you a few minutes, you know, a few last minutes <laughs> if you want. And he laughed like, oh, okay, okay, I'm okay, I'm okay. And then he goes, right. Dude, what you can't see on that piece, I think my favorite part of it, it there's these textures where like yeah. the paint is thicker and it's cracking. Like, yeah, it's and it's incredible. all scratched here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I mean, here, you gotta it's, see it in print. There's some yeah. cuts on yeah. the paper. There's yeah, a lot of it's just wild, yeah. man. Yeah. And, oh, and also, I got a Good present job. from because uh, uh, Brian Stillfries was there with his uh, wife, Still Bush. Dean. And uh, oh shit, she gave you a painting. Yeah, she gave nice. me a painting as a as a thank you for oh, that. That's great. beautiful. For this Holy thing cow, part. that's great. That's gorgeous. She's uh, she has a thing for tigers. Like she yeah. is. Like I saw her. That's profile, primarily like, what she paints. It's like old tigers. Yeah, primarily right? what yeah. she paints. Wildcats. Yeah, yeah. Good job, gentlemen. Those, those are amazing pieces. Exciting. But Eric, I think you got the piece. Oh, yeah. I'm just gonna leave it at that. Is that I your know. highlight for the for the show? Yeah, I think that was depressing and exciting all at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have think any about it? Depressing yeah. because of the cost? No, depressing because it it human like it's so humbling mm -hmm. to sit there and look at it because it was like, and I was telling this to people who were listening. I think you guys know the story already, but for the longest time in the early nineties, all, you know, to try to get a job in the comic book industry and you didn't draw like Jim Lee, that was unheard of, you know, right, like right. you had to draw like either Rob or Jim or Todd, but primarily Rob and Jim. And then like, I was trying so hard to, to do what, the, I mean, keep in mind, I'm, I'm, you know, 19, 18 years old at the time and trying to come up with like an art, a piece of art that's as strong as, as a Jim Lee piece is almost impossible. But those are the people that were getting jobs back in the day. And right. I just wanted to draw like Peter Chung, right? Like I just wanted to draw like Aeon Flux. And I knew, like, I remember, you know, and I think I told Scott Dunbar this a long, long time ago, we're good, we're good friends now, but I remember him looking through my portfolio and he's like this is going to be this is a hard sell this look that you're going for it's going to yeah, be impossible to put you thing. on our books you know um mm. uh anyway so like it was depressing coming home from that san diego comic con where i was trying to show my portfolio so i was a little bit down on myself because it, you know i was my buddy who was three years younger than me this kid named enrico he was getting taken out to dinners because he drew like, just like, you know, he's like, he had an amazing right. experience. And uh, I can't remember, we took a local, you know, to a visit to a local comic book shop and uh, Mobius's poster of Iron Man was up there. Mm. Right. Giant floating boulders, you know, this yeah. uplit Iron Man. Yeah. And I looked at it and I was like, who the fuck is Mobius? What is this thing that I'm looking at? And then you look over and there's a Spider-Man one, the Punisher one, right, and the right. Electro one. Like his whole, his whole collection was up there. And I was like, who the fuck is that guy? Seeing that work for the first time. So I went to my, the guy who run the, who ran the, uh, the comic book store. And I was like, who is this? Like, you've never heard of Mobius before. And so he takes, he took me to that area of the thing where you would see the, the four, the European publications, you know, mm -hmm. and I'd seen Arzak there for the first time. I see, you know, <clears throat> right. airtight garage and I see right. blueberry yeah. and I was like, what the fuck? Yeah, these are volumes. You know what I mean? Like yeah. these are yeah. thick ass books that basically encompasses his career. And you would see all the, the art books that he had, all the prints. I was like, what the fuck? And that was the seed that got planted in my head that really helped solidify like, oh, I don't have to draw like any of these motherfuckers in order to have a career yeah, that's in good. the comic book industry. That's good. Keep in mind, it took it takes longer because there's, you know what sure. I mean? Draw, Go draw like Jim, go draw like Todd, go draw like yeah. Rob, you'll get a job. But to draw this thing that makes you go like, I know who that is when I see it, Yeah. right? And that then like, it's going to be such a harder hill mountain to climb. But I was convinced that I was like, the only way I can stay real, and I don't know how I had that much foresight at like 20 years old, 18 years old, like, Oh, in order for me to be relevant long term, I need to draw like me, right? And so to have that again, eighteen, I'm I'm in arms reach of fifty now. So imagine thirty years later. Exactly. To see a Mobius, and I remember saying this out loud to Jamie, Jamie Moy, uh, when we had first met. I'm like, please, like, I'm so glad that Albert didn't have any. Um, <laughs> 
Mobius is with him at the show because the first time I saw an original Mobius was at San Diego Comic Con, and Albert happened to have one oh. in his pile. You know, I like I was walked by it, and he was just sitting there on top of his original art. If you guys don't know, Albert Moyes is really great um, uh, guy who's represented people from like Bruce Tim to Alex to to uh, what else? He he has a couple. Like, you mentioned Jim, Jim Lee. Lee. Yeah, he's Jim Lee's guy. You know. Yeah. And so anyway, so he had like I walked by his booth, San Diego. I don't I don't recall the year, but I saw this movie is just kind of sitting on top of everything else. And I thought like it's a print until something may go, wait, that's not a print. And I did that whole cartoonish, like, whoa, you know, like you can almost hear the brakes <laughs> of a car. And it's like, and I step back and I take a look at it. I'm like, geez, Louise, I'm holding this Mobius cover. And I did. I right now I'm blanking on how much it costs. I probably actively left it off of my brain because it's just not like not all that important. But I knew it was way out of my range. I saw it and I was like, oh my gosh, that's so beautiful. And off I went. So I said it to Jamie. I remember the first time that I saw an original Mobius is because you know Albert had it. And thank God you didn't bring any with you. And she goes, what are you talking about? We have a lot. <laughs> and I was like, oh shit, don't tell him. Don't tell me that. Shit. <laughs> don't tell me. He goes, no, come by. And the. This is how amazing Jamie was. He's like, Eric, you don't have to buy all of it. Just start with one. That's how. All, that's all it takes is for you to just start with the one piece. I'm like, <laughs> Jamie, it's not the one piece. It's that's the fact it's it, the one piece. You. Yeah, yeah, it's the <laughs> one piece, you know? Yeah, try this heroin. Yeah, yeah, try, try <laughs> it all <laughs> drug. Just, you know, just, you know, just one, one hit. Just one, just one, yeah, hit. Yeah. one A little hit. heroin never hurt anybody, you know? Nope. nope. So anyway, as a, as a, you know, I go over there and I, you know, my wife, my, you know, my amazing wife comes with me and she's like, is there anything that you want to see this whole entire place? And I said, Jamie told us, told me that there, he has, they have Mobius is over there. And she's like, well, let's go. What does it hurt? You know, we go take a look at Bill Sienkiewicz's stuff. We take a look at Alex Ross's stuff. Their reps were very, very nice. Or, you know, and they were saying like, oh, this one's nice. You know, they're trying to walk you through their entire catalog, but we get to Albert's booth and he opens it up and there are Mobius is there. Mm. And I'm like, holy fucking shit, man. You know, <laughs> there's just, this is so freaking beautiful. And there is the, it's card art from, I think like 2012. And, uh, Albert, you know, I, I, they don't have price tags. It's one of those things where like, if you got to ask, you know, yeah, like yeah. you probably can't afford it, you know, but ballsy enough. I like, Hey, Albert, how much is this? He tells me the price. I'm like, geez, Louise, man, you know? And so I go like, ah, it's, you know, I got a house to pay like for, <laughs> whatever the fuck. $350. Like, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Is, yeah, yeah. They, they give it to you with a hamburger and a side of French fries. <laughs> and Mobius art right on top of that. And the Mobius happy it's really, meal. <laughs> it's really affordable, you guys. So, uh, you know, we walk away from it and God bless my wife. She goes like, I think you should get it. I think if it's something that you can, you know, it's, it's something that's been on your list. I'm like, no, we got a we got a house, <laughs> a house payment, all this shit that I need to worry about. But she, and so something happens behind the scenes where Albert comes over, and I see my wife take, you know, she's been painting all weekend, you know, and so I see my wife cut like her this this journal that she handcrafted, and she takes out a piece and hands it over to Albert along with like a couple of original pieces, and because they had worked it out between me and Jason, and Albert goes like, come by. Right. And he, they hand me like as they as we've asked them to set that thing aside, because I was thinking about picking it up. They hand me the they hand me the Mobius. Hold on. Holy shit. And so here it is. I don't know if you guys can... Back right. it up. Back it up. Right. Now you got to right. take it off. You're taking it out of the sleeve. Yeah. I don't want to take it out of this. Fucking... coffee all over it. Oh, my. <laughs> Now it disintegrates. <laughs> the sleeve, like, yeah. it's, got it's all over it. I gotta turn off these lights because it's still under this plastic. There, there, there. No, no, yeah. you gotta take it out yeah. of the plastic. Take it out of the plastic, <laughs> motherfucker. <laughs> Come on, nothing's gonna happen. It's paper. <laughs> dog jumps up and snatches it from his hand. <laughs> like <this. laughs> you see a dog just jumping. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. All right, here we go. Can you guys do that? Uh, closer? No, it's I'm gonna I'm gonna turn off. Was getting was getting closer, closer. Yeah. Yeah, but it's blurry. It's blurry. It's blurry it's because blurry. it's there's a there's a what do you call it, folks? Oh, I'm gonna turn off these lights. Yeah, you turn off the lights. See. I'll do it. Yeah, Hold on. It. Oh, we lost oh, him. Yeah. It worked, Mateo. It worked. <laughs> oh, finally. 
<laughs> no, that's the Mobius drawing. All right, here we go. Can you guys see that? All right. <laughs> All right. Yeah, yeah. No, no, no. Back it up a little bit. Back it up. Back it up. Back it up. Right yeah, there. Yes, it. yes, yes, yes. Awesome. It is such a beautiful celebration. This, this of is lying. not, this is, this isn't, uh, this doesn't represent it well because we're in the fucking dark, but right. holy fucking the shit. The line is just the most delicate and elegant line I've ever seen. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Maybe we lost him again. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> there it is. There's the Mobius. Oops, you there. did it again. <laughs> All right, there you go. That's, that's, the that's the movies. Now, what's interesting, and I not as good as a Mr. Freeze page, <clears throat> right? You know, what is really, to be honest? <laughs> so that's part of a card set, right? So, and uh, he colored the obviously he colored the card set himself, but he photocopied this thing and did a color comp, right? And I found it in the back. Oh shit! That's awesome. That's that's him coloring it himself before they they decided to go and print the thing. That's amazing. Holy fucking shit. We also, man. before we end here, we got to say big congrats to Mateo for having the most amazing show ever at, at Como. It was like your biggest oh, yeah. show ever, right? Was that? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah it went did. really well. Yeah, you did it incredibly well. Really well. <laughs> not only well, like they, like per day, but overall, yeah. even if it was just a two days show, yeah. it, it was, went yeah. well better than my best show which is usually new york right the last four days so and you didn't have to work nearly as much no no okay. especially because this time i i was able to do some commissions beforehand right so i didn't have to do that much like yeah you're right okay. like, i just did or a gorgeous set of commissions by the way if you haven't seen it go take a look at that white they are queen beautiful. that you did black uh, white and red yeah, it's amazing. Thank you, guys. Amazing. Go, go check it out in uh, on his social media. So we're at uh, Instagram.com forward slash. You switch around. It's Scalera, Mateo Scalera on Instagram, but it's Scalera Mateo, Mateo, Mateo on, on Instagram and yeah. uh, and uh, Scalera Mateo on Twitter. Yeah. Yeah. All right. That's that's a, so, yeah. an yeah, amazing a way to show. end that show. You know, oh, we yeah. did. I miss anything? Was there anything in there that we didn't? No, reach but out? We'll, I'm sure we'll something. Get, we'll get Jim on next week, and we can. I'll, I'll close with a uh, with a. Uh, with a weird question and you don't yeah. have to answer now okay so we'll, we'll we'll close it here with my question if, if you guys are okay yeah. okay Should so you'll you no? answer to it you'll have a week to think about it okay, okay. You answer it, okay so as you know i'm writing my own story you know my my own thing right so there's various characters and i'm looking for some references for in order to be inspired to create because i i, I just finished on to, to write all the scenes and, yeah. and I it's a part of the dialogues and stuff. So now I, I felt it was time to start to work on the characters, right? So, you know, how do you look for references? Like Google, normally mm -hmm. you digit, yeah. you know, with, you know, it's, sure. uh, you know, tall me, black man or yeah. whatever. Like for me, muscular, it's a, uh, go check out Pinterest. Asian man. Pinterest, Pinterest helps me out okay. a lot. Yeah. So, <laughs> Like I had to, one of the characters oh, is boy. like a 14, 13 years girl, black oh, no. girl. Oh no. <laughs> so how do you digit it without feeling like a creep? <laughs> this is what you want us to, to think yeah. about for a week? I It was really hard. It took me like 10 minutes to like, should I write it? Like, is there somebody like looking for me now? All right, here we go. <laughs> 13 years <laughs> This is the Ink Pulp Podcast. This is the Ink Pulp Podcast. Comics. Hip hop. Life. We're crying out loud. We're going to get, you're going to get arrested. <laughs>